The wedding of Prince Juan Carlos of Spain and Princess Sofia of Greece and Denmark took place in Athens on May 14, 1962. The couple married in three ceremonies, the first according to the rites of the Roman Catholic Church, the groom's faith at the Cathedral Basilica of St. Dionysus. The second ceremony was according to the rites of the Greek Orthodox Church, the bride's faith at the Metropolitan Cathedral of Athens. The third, a civil ceremony, was held in the royal palace. The bride formally converted from Greek Orthodoxy to Roman Catholicism and renounced her rights to the Greek throne. More than 140 royals attended the wedding. It was one big fat Greek royal wedding. The groom had previously been linked to Princess Maria Gabriella of Savoy and rumours had Sophia's name thrown together with Crown Prince Harold of Norway. But things changed between these two acquaintances when they both attended the Duke and Duchess of Kent's wedding in 1961. And the rest, as we all know, is history. Not only the wedding was big, even the dress was big, incorporating some seriously luxurious materials. Jean de Cesse, a Paris couturier with Greek roots and a new Athens salon, was chosen for the job and the dress was made in Greece by Greek seamstresses at the bride's request. They made Sophia one of the most intricate royal wedding gowns around. A silver white lame base covered in tulle and old lace. The tremendous amount of lacy detail is saved from becoming overwhelming by the relative simplicity of the dress shape. Unfortunately, these details are not at all served well by the quality of the media at the time and tend to disappear in photographs. What a shame, as it would have been amazing to see that in person, with the lame shining through the layers of tulle and lace. One detail that won't get lost in time is the sheer length of her train, about 20 foot long and made of more lame covered with organza. It served as a base for her 15 foot lace veil, the same one used by her mother, Queen Frederica, and anchored by the Parisian diamond tiara from her mother. Juan Carlos wore the uniform of the Spanish army, possibly to please General Franco. The prince and princess of Asturias became king and queen of Spain on 22nd of November 1975, after Franco's death. The couple have three children together, Infanta Elena, Infanta Cristina and King Felipe of Spain. The marriage was affected by Juan Carlos' several extramarital affairs, and now the couple live in different countries. Even though they're separated, I'm sure both of them look back at this day with fondness and remember the fun they had with their families. On a separate note, did you know that Queen Sophia is the only queen who is the daughter of a king, King Paul of Greece, the sister of a king, King Constantine of Greece, the wife of a king, King Juan Carlos of Spain, and the mother of a king, King Felipe of Spain? Isn't that interesting? With this, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching.